Hi fire signs, Aries, Leo and Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising and welcome to your tarot love messages. Today we're going to take a look at um, new love predictions. So what's coming in for you in terms of new love and romance. These messages here are general so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. Um, so let's go ahead and give the cards a shuffle and see what are your new love predictions here. the Knight of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Eight of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, there are definitely some significant changes that are coming up for you in terms of love and romance. For those of you have that have found yourself having a little bit of um, bad luck when it comes to love, love and romance, when it comes to, you know, picking out um, the right partner for you, your luck is about to turn, your luck is about to change here. Um, in a very positive way, mind you. I see a lot of successful and positive developments in terms of love and romance. There is a new love coming in or there is a relationship that's going to be um, very balanced here. I feel like you'll have the opportunity to maybe correct some sort of situation, a past situation, or it's very likely someone here is uh, someone here who's coming in towards you. This is someone who's going to want to really take care of you here. Okay, so let's begin with the Six of Wands here. So, strong fire energy. So, it could be a fellow um, fire energy that is coming in towards you. But this does denote success when it comes to uh, love and romance. Okay, for those of you that are single, I feel like you you will be especially attractive to romantic suitors and admirers, and you'll find that that people are a lot more receptive to you. Okay, so you're like attracting people to your energy field. For others of you who do have a romantic energy around you or a connecting energy around you, um, I'm I'm seeing that this person will become a lot more receptive to you, a lot more than usual as well, which could have something to do with balancing that situation. So, for instance, someone who wasn't as responsive to you whether with their communication or their body language their energy here finally starts to sit up and take notice and start paying more attention of you for others of you i feel like you're this is something i'm seeing some of you are working towards something it kind of feels long term or shall i say long distance here whereas some of you have been wanting to you're like you're thinking about working towards moving in together um, or buying a home or building a business together I'm seeing there's a lot of success so for those of you that have had some you know long-term plans here I'm seeing a lot of successful developments in that area here some of you who have been involved in a long-distance relationship the two of you are going to become closer together so I don't know if you're actually if this is like a physical contact that I'm seeing or I don't know if like uh, intimacy is being built here Okay, now with the uh, Six of Pentacles, I am seeing some sort of, you're correcting some sort of, um, like you're balancing the scales or you're correcting some sort of situation. I'm also seeing that for others, of, like for some of you here watching this, I'm seeing that there is someone here that's coming in uh, towards you here. Um, I feel like this person is, this is someone, um, He or she, I feel like, it could be karma to be honest with you because I feel like this person stands for equality, this person st stands for fairness. I'm also seeing a lot of material prosperity around this person, like they're very successful, very financially independent. They're in a position to give to others without necessarily affecting their financial stability. Um, there's some good fortune coming in for you in terms of love and romance. I'm seeing that um, scales are being balanced. so. Situa situations are being corrected, apologies are being received here.
it could also be a message for some of you that are single and you're really wanting to attract love and romance the message that i have for you here with the six of pentacles is you know you should be mindful like despite your situation despite you know just how badly you want something be mindful that you don't become like very desperate or you don't become like submissive during that particular time because in becoming very desperate and becoming submissive here you could then opt for a uh, romantic energy who might not necessarily fulfill your innermost desires and needs here it could also be a message to remember here to keep your some of you need a reminder and you need to remember to keep your partnership balanced here and that's what's going to ultimately that's what there's been some sort of blockage for some of you so keep your partnership balanced because that's ultimately what will allow your relationship to thrive now with the knight of cups i'm seeing some sort of um strong romantic energy is heading towards your way i'm seeing some sort of reunion for some of you it's a long distance relationship here that i feel like um, you might potentially meet here or like a relationship is being cemented here i'm seeing first dates successful romantic first dates i'm seeing romantic gestures here i'm seeing some sort of very positive romantic developments here it's very likely that there is a connecting energy around you who i feel like is falling in love with you or has the potential here to fall in love with you there's definitely love and romance indicated in the cards for you here a strong indication of this um the Nine of Cups now is water energy, okay, so it's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It could also, he is someone, because he's so in touch with his intuition and his emotions here, I feel like it could also be a, a message to some of you. And the message that I'm getting here is that because because he has a tendency to romanticize right he's he's very romantic here um sometimes this person here so i don't know if it's you or someone around you they may very much fall in love with the idea of love and sometimes this person can go a little bit too far in their pursuit of true love um so especially with the six of pentacles you know i've, I've mentioned that for those of you that are single and you, you're really wanting to have love be careful that you're not you don't have unrealistic expectations here. Be careful that you're not attracting, you know, uh, the partner who isn't perfect for you. Some of you, I feel like, need a bit of a gentle dose of reality. The other message that I'm getting here is try and enjoy things in the moment. Because some of you, I feel like you're looking too far ahead here. It's gone really dark. Try and enjoy things in the moment. I'm getting some sort of uh, emotional connection here an emotional connection an emotional awareness of someone else here or an emotional message that comes in for you so it could be that someone is falling in love with you it could be that someone here wants to um, finally meet you or wants to finally take you out on a date it could also be some sort of reunion with the four of wands so i feel like some you, you could be potentially reuniting with someone you could also be reconciling with someone here as well i'm seeing you re you're reuniting reconciling i'm also seeing for some of you here a possible engagement a wedding or a marriage if not in over the over the span of the next few months here there could be talks about this or it could very well be that the next person whom you enter into a relationship with um, could potentially result in a wedding engagement or a pregnancy marriage that's better i just had to um, switch the light on so you can see those cards in um, a little bit more detail now um, so that was the four of wands here I'm also seeing some sort of celebration here, um, some sort of blissful happiness um, or celebration that is coming your way here. Now, I don't know whether you're, uh, it's directly connected to you or it's through a connecting energy here, but I do feel like this is, it does, uh, it does suggest some sort of relaxed, like either harmonious um, or a happy, relaxed environment here. I'm seeing that some of you are building really solid, really reliable and solid foundations with the connecting energy here. Some of you I'm seeing like an intimate dinner or you're really connecting, you're really building um, a connection with someone. So first dates, intimate dinners here, 
romantic gestures here, a weekend away is what's indicated in the cards for you. And this is essentially going to bring the two of you closer together. So this is especially for those of you that do have a romantic energy. And for those of you that don't, for those of you that are single, um, do not despair because I am seeing new love and romance coming in for you. So again, you know, don't come from a place of desperation just because you so badly want this to happen. It is happening for you. Maybe not in the timeline that you want it to happen, but it is coming for you. Your luck in terms of love and romance is about to change. This person almost comes out of nowhere. Now, whether this is a past connecting energy, someone whom you know, or whether this is someone entirely new, this person was placed in your path for a reason you will connect with this person. He or she will reach out or you will cross paths with this person when it's meant to happen. Now, Eight of Swords here. Okay. Um, some of you are feeling, maybe you're feeling a little bit trapped. Um, you're feeling a little bit powerless. He, it can signify despair, this card here. Um, some of you are, I feel like, Whatever situation you're in, you can walk. You can simply walk out of the situation. It's not that bad. You feel powerless because that's in your mind, um, and you can change the situation. Some of you don't feel that. Some of you feel a sense of hopelessness, or you feel as though I feel like you're giving power to some sort of to someone else or to some sort of unknown entity here. Whether it's um, I don't I don't know, but I feel like you're you're giving something away here. And essentially, like you're giving your power away to someone or something here, and essentially what it's doing is um, it's sort of impacting your personal responsibility to welcome change into your life. Some of you are in a stale relationship. You feel like you're in a stale relationship which is stagnated and it hasn't and it hasn't it's not growing. Um, if something isn't growing, it's dying. So you need to ask yourself, you know, whether this is whether this is how you see yourself or whether this is how you see your future here. Because some of you, I feel like you're you're denying yourself the possibility of true love or a soulmate connection here simply because you are in a stagnant or you are in a stale relationship here. So some of you have some very and you do, you know you've got some very deep personal questions to ask yourself and you do have that power and you also have that power that responsibility that personal responsibility to welcome to um change your life and to welcome change into your life here yeah. some of you are a little bit unwilling to venture out and new, meet new people which is possibly the reason why you've been single or possibly be or possibly is the reason why you haven't um met anyone it's because you're unwilling to put yourself out there whether it's you know creating a dating profile whether it's going out on blind dates or whether it's um saying yes to people um because you you have this little comfort zone and to be honest with you but from what i can see this comfort zone doesn't look all that entirely comfortable so your luck for some of you your luck is changing and it's destined for others of you i feel like you have to be receptive to this okay so destiny can place someone in your path but at the end of the day you still have free will okay so you can have prince charming that sort of um, rocks up at your doorstep um, but some of you I feel like even if that were to happen you would still um, back out of the opportunity so whilst I do feel like your luck is changing in terms of love and romance you also have to be receptive and open and be open to the infinite possibilities and the abundance of love and romance that wants to enter your life here because some of you I feel like yeah you're you're unwilling to venture out or you're unwilling to put yourself out there and you're hoping that someone here is going to enter your life and sweep you off your feet. And the Wheel of Fortune here is the biggest indicator that change is being introduced into your uh, love life, into your um, romantic department here. Or it's a, it's a reminder here for some of you that change needs to be introduced here. Um, I'm also seeing that, you know, this card here is destiny, changes, chance, luck turning here. This could also signate a, um, it could also denote here, signify, denote, um, cycles here, unexpected events, unexpected twists and turns here, um,
there's big changes coming here and to be honest with you some of these changes are ones that you don't necessarily see coming and it doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing it's just that some adjustments are going to have to be made but definitely some positive developments in terms of love and romance here but again some of you i feel like you have to learn to be a little bit more open or receptive to the opportunities here okay It's also important to understand that, you know, these changes that are coming in for you, whether positive or whether negative, um, or just in general, it's not forever and the wheel is constantly turning. So just because, you know, you're not where you want to be right now, doesn't mean you're not going to be with who it is, you're not going to end up with who it is that you want to be, or you're not going to end up living the life that you want to in the future, okay? But it's all about, you know, it's all about your thinking here. thinking makes it so okay guys and that's all i have for you i just want to thank you all for watching and listening please show your support by subscribing to the channel liking sharing or commenting um i will be sharing with you more tarot love messages so do stay tuned thanks guys again and bye for now